Hey there, Vinyl Groovers. Welcome back. Uh, we're talking about video, uh, excuse me, albums number 25 to 21. So we're getting all the way down. I might even throw in an extra bonus album to take us out of the 20s. So the video after this will be at the top 19, uh, which is, we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. Uh, I pull some extra albums just in case. So we'll see. So in the meantime, we're going to talk about 25 to 21, and my first album up is number 25, Willie Nelson's Stardust. This album is, to me, kind of a defined album for Willie Nelson. Um, he's, I mean, it's really hard to pin Willie Nelson down as to, you know, what album is, you know, a great Willie Nelson album, what's not, because Willie Nelson is Willie Nelson. Kind of like Johnny Cash is Johnny Cash, and Waylon Jennings is Waylon Jennings, and so on and so forth. He's a great country artist, and this is a great country album. So, if you're looking for a, a, a gateway into maybe some country, some older country, uh, Willie Nelson Stardust is where I would begin. Um, some great stuff on here, and there's old Willie right there, and of course that's in his... Uh, Red-headed stranger younger days uh, now. He's a little bit older, but in the meantime, this is my number 25th pick Willie Nelson Stardust All right, my number 24th pick it defined 1984 85 and it is ZZ top um, You know, how do you go wrong with ZZ top and uh, following Willie Nelson too? This is the album everybody remembers for ZZ Top in the 80s. It has Legs. It has uh, Give Me All Your Lovin'. It has uh, Sharp Dressed Man. It has all of those songs on it that we all became accustomed to and which sent ZZ Top into the stratosphere and made us all wish that we could be picked up in this car by the beautiful women who were driving it. And then they hand you the ZZ Top keys. Um, yeah, we all wish that we were that person back in the 80s. Uh, we just never were. Uh, in the meantime, this is a great album. If you haven't heard it, get it. If you're not familiar with ZZ Top, I don't know what to tell you because they've been around forever in a year. And they put on phenomenal shows. They have great music and they have a, a catalog that just goes on and on and on. Um, so ZZ Top and this is Afterburn believe it yeah no eliminator excuse me i want to give it afterburn this is zz top eliminator i don't know why i said afterburn my bad uh but fantastic album get it all right number 23 number 23 is white snake yes this is a great album you know how hard it is to find a great copy of Still the Night these days? It seems as though David Coverdale has gone back and remastered Still the Night. And if you go on Spotify, it's really hard to find the original uh, Still the Night song as it was in the music video. Or any of these songs on this album, as a matter of fact, because they have remastered them and updated them, I guess. Um, not a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of this album because it's a great album. Uh, not, you know, not that they didn't have other good albums, but this is the album. It's a great album. Um, it is a complete album. They put it, put their best work together on this. They sound the best on this. The lyrics are the best on this. So, I mean, it, this is it. Um, and I highly recommend if you haven't heard this album this album not any other remastered or updated or whatever else it's this album here take a look at the cover real carefully yeah it doesn't have any red on it and things like that it's just white snake that's the album you want not the other stuff so 
Go find it. Listen to it. You'll love it. I promise. All right. My number 22 album is Wings at the Speed of Sound. Uh, great album. This is Paul McCartney's band after he, uh, you know, obviously left the Beatles. And um, he did some solo work. But this is Wings. And this is the band he put together. Great stuff. This has got uh, Silly Love songs on it and a lot of other great songs. So this is the album to get Wings at the Speed of Sound. Um, if you're looking for a Wings album, can't go wrong with this one. Uh, there are some other Wings albums, and they're really good, too. Don't get me wrong, but if I have to pick one Wings album to put on my top 100, it's this one. So, there you go. Number 21. Number 21. Hmm. And I love this guy. Waylon Jennings, number 21. Uh, I have a lot of greatest hits of Waylon Jennings and things like that, but uh, this is Waylon Jennings' Lonesome, Ornery, and Me. Um, great album. Lonesome, Ornery, and Mean. Summed him up, but not really, because he, he was just a, a great guy. He really was. Uh, I've watched a lot of documentaries on him. I've, I've uh, watched him with uh, uh, other artists, and he just... He's just a great musician, and uh, he had a lot of love for music and pushing boundaries. This, you know, people say Johnny Cash. What type of music is Johnny Cash? And you go, well, Johnny Cash is just in his own category. Kind of to me, Waylon Jennings defined country. Um, I'm going to say Waylon Jennings is country, but he defined country to me. Uh, obviously, some of you will go back and say, no, it's Hank Williams. And, no, it's Hank Williams Jr. No, it's Alabama. Waylon Jennings, to me, is the he's what I think of when I think of country. And I'm never going to change that, that uh, opinion. Um, he just is a phenomenal artist. And uh, it's too bad he's not around anymore because we need more artists like him. So, Waylon Jennings... He's my number 21 pick. So there's number 25 through 21. Now I told you if uh, I was feeling up to it, I was going to pull a 20, number 20 album. And I guess I might as well go ahead and do that. So my number 20 album is The Who. Um, it's Who's Next is the album. And um, this is a great album. This is one of my. This is my favorite Who album. Um, you know, there's some other good ones. Who, Who by Numbers, and um, some other great Who albums. But this is my favorite Who album. So if you're looking for a an album that is what I think is a complete album by an artist or group, it would be this one. Because every song seems to fit to the next song. And it's just, it's great music. So, um, you haven't heard of this one? Give it a shot. Who, Who's Next is the album. That's my number 20th pick. So, and there you go, guys. That's it. Number 25 through 20. So, I gave you a bonus album in there. Um, next time you see me, we're going to be counting down the top 19. So... Uh, probably we'll start doing blocks of 10 and, the, and do two more videos and uh, then the series will come to an end. It'll seem like a strange thing to end the series, but I'll have made it through the top 100 songs or excuse me, albums uh, that matter to me in my life. So um, hopefully you you're stick around, you keep watching, I hope, um, and I hope you enjoy what I've been putting out. In the meantime, find an album that maybe you didn't know anything about and maybe I introduced you to something let me know and if I did put it on spin it and I hope to catch you listening to some great music I'll catch y'all next time bye bye